I'm going to reveal how you guys can start making money using the Binance trading bot without being any sort of cryptocurrency expert, so let's give it a shot. And I'm talking about the so-called spot grid trading bot, which at a first glance might seem really difficult. You might think you need to be some sort of genius to understand this process, but that is not true, so I'm gonna break it down for you. You see, as you might expect, the very first thing you have to do is head over to Binance and set up a free account. That is just a matter of providing your basic details and then you're good to go, so I'm not gonna bore you with that process because it's really self-explanatory, right? But once you're there, once you have successfully logged in, you wanna head over to the trade section and then select strategy trading because this is where the magic happens. Once that is out of the way, you wanna choose the strategy type that you're interested in and just as mentioned, that is spot trading and then you wanna pick the market. For the sake of simplicity, let's just go for something like Bitcoin USDT, right? Then you're gonna apply the filters and trade accordingly. But before we can do that, we need to dive a little bit deeper and really understand what's going on here. Because here's the thing. Here's a common misconception that most people have when it comes to trading bots. They just think a crypto trading bot is some sort of magical piece of software that's just gonna take your money and multiply it overnight spectacularly. As if you're gonna invest $1,000 and then get a return of 10,000 with a spectacular ROI. But that is not true. That has nothing to do with the way crypto trading bots actually work. So let me explain what this is all about. Let's just say that you are currently day trading, right? You are keeping a close eye on the movement of cryptocurrencies. And in order to make that happen, you're using all sorts of different tools, such as TradingView.com, for instance, which allows you to see the price charts really clearly. And up next, in order to make the process even smoother, you're gonna apply all sorts of indicators to your chart to give you some more data, such as MACD, stochastics, moving averages. Based on all of this information that you are getting from your chart, you're going to make an informed decision. When I spot a certain pattern, I'm going to open a certain position. That is pretty much how day trading works in very, very simple words. But there is a lot more that goes into it than that. However, guys, most of this process can be replicated by an automated piece of software because it is very, very repetitive. You're going to identify a certain pattern and whenever you do that, you're going to place an order. A robot can also do that if you provide the correct parameters. And that's precisely what we're gonna do. So let me break it down. Here's how it works. Basically, what you get to do is set all of these different grids, thus the name. You can set these lines at certain price intervals. You're basically going to have a grid between a lower price and an upper price. You're basically trading in a certain so-called price channel. Now, the spot trading feature is great whenever there is a lot of volatility in the market because here's what you're doing basically. Whenever the price of a cryptocurrency of your choice hits a certain price range, you're gonna open a position. That can either be a long position, so you're buying that cryptocurrency, or a short one, so you're selling you get to choose that. Moving forward, as the price range fluctuates, it is going to cut through all of these different lines that you have just placed on the chart. Ideally, what you are doing is that you're trying to buy low and sell high, obviously. But instead of you having to monitor that chart 24-7 and keep an eye on the price fluctuations, what you are doing is automating the process. You're outsourcing the work to this robot that Binance is going to provide you with. As you can see, ideally, you wanna buy on the way down and then sell on the way up. And by doing this and automating the process, providing clear parameters, you're basically avoiding the FOMO, which is the fear of missing out, which a lot of us have been dealing with. And so guys, here's what you can do. Here's how it works. What you need to do is set those price grids yourself. There are two different ways you can do that, either the arithmetic version or the geometric one. I would go for the first one because that is a little bit easier to understand. Basically, between each of those lines, there is an equal difference, right? You also get to set the number of grids as you can spot. Then you get to choose the coin you're looking to invest and based on all of your criteria, based on your selection, this tool is going to provide you with a minimum investment amount. In other words, you cannot make use of this tool unless you have that amount in your balance. Now, if you want to reduce that cost, that initial investment, you want to reduce the number of grids. 
If you want to increase it because you want to invest more money into this method, what you want to do is increase the number of grids. And once it is started, before you know it, this tool is going to start day trading for you. Again, instead of you having to be out there constantly and checking the price range, you're basically automating the work. That's gonna save you a lot of time. But still, this bot right here, this cryptocurrency bot, is still operating on your input. And so if there is no volatility in the market or the price goes beyond your price grid, you're not making any money anymore. This is not a proven to work investment method. And instead, it is just a way you can save some time. And that is pretty much how cryptocurrency bots actually work. If anybody ever promises you that they have created a bot that will take an investment from your end and multiply that by doing some really smart strategies, it is not going to work. It's most likely a scam. Cryptocurrency bots are all about implementing a certain strategy that you're implementing anyway. But instead of you having to actively make decisions, you're going to leave it on the bot. And here's another very similar bot that I've been keeping an eye on for quite some time now. It is called Pionex.com and it is absolutely free to use, unlike most of these crypto trading bots. And in particular, one that I really like is the DCA bot, the dollar cost averaging one. Let me show you how it works. This one is all about accumulating cryptocurrency over a long period of time. So if you're not willing to play this game long term, this may not be for you. Dollar cost averaging is all about investing equal amounts of money at equal time intervals. Let's say I'm investing $100 on a weekly basis into Bitcoin. I am buying $100 worth of Bitcoin every single Monday. That is pretty much how dollar cost averaging works. And now you can change those time intervals. You can buy daily, you can buy weekly or even monthly. That is entirely up to you. You can even buy hourly if you want to. And I really love this illustration right here because it just goes to show how dollar cost averaging might work ideally. You're basically purchasing a certain cryptocurrency at equal time intervals as you can spot on the chart, but you don't really care about the price. You can buy at $10,000, you can buy at $15,000, and so on and so forth. You don't really care about it. And as long as the market keeps growing over a long period of time, as long as the market is bullish over a long time horizon, you are profitable. Because this is what the average looks like. You're accumulating cryptocurrency, you're accumulating Bitcoin, and if the price of Bitcoin is now higher than it used to be, your assets are worth more. You see, instead of being vulnerable to all of these different fluctuations in price, and caring about whether or not Bitcoin is going up or down, you're consistently buying, you're consistently accumulating cryptocurrency and dollar cost averaging. However, guys, this strategy is only going to work in a bullish market. If you had implemented dollar cost averaging over the last six months or so, you have lost money. And that just goes to show that no strategy is proven to work regardless of market conditions, even though some people may want you to believe that. It doesn't work that way. Taking a step back, these two strategies are pretty much polar opposites. When it comes to dollar cost averaging, you don't really care about the daily fluctuations. You don't care whether or not Bitcoin is going up or down today. But over a long term horizon, you want it to go up, right? But when it comes to the spot grid trading feature, you want the market to be as volatile as possible because that way you are cutting through as many of those grids as possible so you're placing more orders and so the bottom line is that the spot grid trading doesn't really work in a market that is not volatile but now guys if you think that the first strategy is a little bit too risky for you and you don't want to be that exposed dollar cost averaging might be a little bit more suitable but even then but again you want the market to be on your side over a long period of time and even though you're automating the process here you're still gonna keep an eye on it so you're still working actively every now and again i'm pretty sure that most of us will not have the courage to just leave this bot alone for one year and not look at it whatsoever we're gonna check it every single day. But if you don't want to worry about your crypto assets, you just want to earn some entirely passive income off of your crypto assets without having to work, then there is another solution to that. And it is called staking. And guess what? Binance actually offers such a feature. What you can do is basically lock your crypto assets for a given period of time that you get to choose. That can be 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, even all the way up to 120. And depending on which cryptocurrency you decide to stake, you can earn a certain return on your investment. You're basically earning interest on it. And sometimes that can be all the way up to 80%. Now, this one is not sustainable. Most of the times it is going to be between 5 and 15%. But if you're lucky, you might get an even better return. And let's just think about it for a second. Let's say you have some cryptocurrency assets in your wallet, but you're not really using them. You're not paying with your crypto, right? You're just letting your crypto assets sit idle in your wallet when you can put it to work. 
Staking it basically means locking your cryptocurrency asset so you will not be able to use it for a given period of time. However, you're earning interest on it. So you are getting rewarded for your contribution. You're helping validate transactions and at the same time, you're making some profits passively without any active work. And if you're not using your crypto anyway, this might be a good idea. But again, this is not 100% safe. So you need to know what you are investing your money in. You need to do your own diligence. But let's get back to the spot grade trading bot. Can you actually make money with it or not? I definitely think you can. But that is if you have a really good understanding of how this strategy works and what the market conditions need to be like for it to work. Each and every single one of these strategies is going to work in certain market conditions. None of them are recession proof. And so guys, I want you guys to dive a little bit deeper. Try to learn more about the spot grade trading feature. Try to learn more about dollar cost averaging. Pick the one you like and go for it. That's it for now and thanks for watching.